After a long period of getting not much done on my observatory, I finally made some progress. Let's go take a look. Uh, the main problem that I had was getting the dome that I made to rotate properly. As you can see, it's doing that. number of problems. One is the dome that I made out of wood has a little bit of flexibility to it. The other problem is um, I stupidly made the uh, inside diameter of the dome equal the outside diameter of the original walls. So I had to make this ledge. I might have, I probably would have needed to do it anyway, but I made this ledge out of uh, I guess it's two by eights to extend it outward. And then I also had to bring the dome in by a couple inches. So, and also this can, has a little bit of flexibility going in and out. Not so much anymore. I had to fix that. And I also needed to make it so that these, um, that I could adjust the position of the casters without getting underneath and trying to screw the screw is very awkward so i uh, screwed it into this block which then i screwed from the top and then i could bring it in and out the other problem that i had is i started off working with some casters that were way too small um, i started off with these two inch casters first one i got was this um, these slide very very well but they rotate, so if you try to turn around, the uh, the wheel itself would try to turn and rub up against whatever the guide was. Then I got, uh, I was advised to get a fixed caster, which I did. But then also this is, just turns out that a larger caster works much better. So I got eight of these for about $50, and uh, I think they're either a PVC or a Teflon. Um, and they slide very, very well. And then the other problem I had was what would be the guide. I had, I started off trying to do um, cutting wood, which is expensive. And um, the casters would try to ride up on the wood. Uh, it just wasn't working. And also it's rough. There was uh, abrasion of the wheel and it didn't help that the wheels were too small when I tried to do this. So uh, it was taking me a long time to figure out what I could use as a track that was flexible enough for me to put into uh, a good circle, but also be strong enough. And it turns out that this uh, PVC pipe, also it's cheap, uh, it's three quarter inch. And because it's curved, really only this outside point should be touching the wheel actually and pushing on the wheel and if you put enough screws in it's it's pretty strong um so the other thing is uh, these wheels i was advised to get metal wheels because they would last longer but because i live in an area that has houses nearby uh, I didn't really want this to be squeaky, squeaky, and very loud at night. And it sounds loud on the video, but a lot of that is the, the walls vibrating and also the wheel traveling over these uh, joints here. So I'm going to put some, um, some uh, very shiny masonite material on the surface here. And I think that will cut down on the sound when it goes over these uh, rough patches. And also it'll help if the wheel needs to play in and out a little bit to, to be guided, that it's not, uh, it would help if it was on a, sh a slicker surface. Um, and so then it will be more silent and more efficient. Right now I would say it takes about 
15 pounds of pressure uh, of force to move this. So not too bad. It definitely was worse than the other, uh, when I was trying to use wood. And originally I had uh, a caster underneath each uh, support here. Um, but then I realized having fewer casters would probably make it a lot easier to rotate than having a whole bunch in terms of alignment or if one is a little bit off. That's less likely if you only have eight versus you know, like 16. So finally some progress. I don't know if I'll get this done in time for winter, probably not, but it's really nice to see it working.